Man, it's rainy here today. Been raining all morning. Been looking like we have a little weather window, but it seems to be closing up on us a bit. Just drove down to Wrigley's Marina here in southeast Louisiana. Gonna head out hopefully to catch some big speckled trout on topwater baits. We got a nice cloud cover, obviously. So we got that working in our favor. That doesn't hurt my feelings at all. But we got a few things working against us. If you saw my last video, you know we had a big Arctic blast blow through. And that really lowered water temperatures here. Also lowered water levels. So I suspect that the water's gonna be nice and dirty. <laughs> I know it's gonna be a little bit chilly. None of that really helps uh, when topwater fishing. So we got a few things working against us, but you gotta go to know. If nothing else, I hope we can go catch some, uh, some, some bass and reds, but I really wanna give these uh, topwater trout a while. Give them a try. We just looked at the radar on our phones and definitely this, uh, this window that we're in is starting to close. So we may not have very long to fish at all, but we're gonna give it a whirl, so wish us luck. All right, so catching speckled trout on topwater baits requires a certain number of factors to be in your favor. Unfortunately, we don't have any of those today. This water out here is not pretty at all. It's not terrible. Definitely I fished in worse, but I can't think of any time where I've had great topwater success in water of this color. Now, we have seen a few mullet jumping. We just pulled out here getting the cameras ready and all that. We have seen a few mullet jumping, so I know they're in the area. And we're gonna make a few casts just since we're here. But I don't see us doing this too much longer because I just don't have confidence in it. I just don't think it's gonna work. But um, maybe we'll get lucky, we'll see. The front is ruined. Water, fire. Front's a part of March fishing. You like it cloudy like this the top I, You know what? I, I really am indifferent. I, I've caught so many fish midday with a high sun yeah. that I really don't care. But textbook says, yeah, cloudy day is going to be better. Oh! 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 Good blow up! You saw it? Oh, I, I was looking at the color. There he is! Oh, I think it's a red. He hasn't come up at all, and boy, he's running like a red, that's for sure. Oh yeah, big, big, big red. Look at that. Look how pretty that thing is. Look at that guy. He hit me twice. He smoked it and I missed him. And then he came back and got it on the second swipe. And best of all, today I brought a net man. You can only get the net off the See, seat. man can't get the net out. Oh, don't break my rod. Don't break my rod. Come on, don't break my rod. I love this rod. Don't, no, 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 no. Come on. No. I tell you what, this guy didn't fight all that hard until just now. That's a big bull. It's a big bull red. He's got a face full of she dog. All right, he's done. You ready? All right, we came for speckled trout, but the first fish of the day is a monster bull red. And I'll tell you what, you can tell how dirty this water is by the color of this fish. He's really, really pale. I mean, he's, he was he was not getting off unless he broke the line. No, he's got both hooks all six of the treble hooks firmly in his jaw. That's how you like to hook them. All right, we gotta let this big boy go. That is a beast of a fish. He is a monster. He's gonna take a little while to revive, I think. No, not at all. He took off like a bat out of Hades. All right, it wasn't the speckled trout we were looking for, but it was a big, beautiful redfish, and it was a lot of fun to catch on top water. I don't think it was my first cast. I don't think it was my second cast, but I know it was in my first five casts. That first hit, he hit me twice. The first hit, I thought it was a trout. Second hit, I knew it was a redfish. Let's see if they got any more where that came from. Ooh, ooh. Got him? Yeah, got him? All right, Joel just hooked up. Did it look like a trout or a red? Is it a trout, yeah. for sure? Come on up on the bow if you can. He smacked it right by the boat, huh? Yeah, it came all the way out the water to hit it. All right, you might have to go in the back. Go ahead, I got the GoPro, go get him. 
he came all the way out yep. and jumped yeah. down on it. I love when they do that. Usually when they do that though, they miss it. He's swimming at me. Oh, he's not that big. Oh, no, he's not big. <laughs> he's not big. You must have had your drag really loose. I tell you what, though, any speckle trout on top is a trophy. I will take him. All right, I got to pick this camera up because it's starting to rain. I'm going to leave the GoPro on. Joel's fish was not as big as he thought, but it's a speckle trout on top water. You can't complain about that. We've been fishing, what, seven or eight minutes? We already got a red and a trout and a very unexpected trout. The red didn't surprise me, the trout definitely did. All right, I'm pulling up the stakes. Let the drift resume. You can throw these baits a mile in this wind, which is really good for topwater fishing because you want to get as far from the boat as you can. Good amount of mullet. Yeah, definitely a lot of mullet. That's the key. You can tell this water wants to clean up. The top layer is clean, but there's a lot of silt at the bottom. Yeah. I mean, I've definitely fished in worse. I'll say that. I bet it's real clean back in that pocket. I'm glad you got that trout. It makes me feel a little bit better. Like we got a shot. 61 degree water. 61 degree water. What's the, do you remember the lowest? I, I, can't, I can't remember ever catching them in 61 degree one degree water he hit me right by the boat he's not big but that was awesome oh a little rat red no it's a trout it's a trout all right all right this guy he's definitely a keeper i'm gonna say he's about 13 and a half inches but he's not the trophy we're looking for i'm gonna save my tag. i only got two tags left i'm gonna save him for some bigger fish i'll let this guy go thanks for the fight buddy take off there you go you got a hit all right, fish on. Joel's got a fish. Keep pressure on him. Is it a small one? Yeah. Oh, no! Look at that, greenhorn. He's a little bit nicer than you thought. Not a bad fish. Don't hook the tackle box. Too late. Joel had one on right before that, and it got off. Do you want spotlock? Oh! Oh my goodness, did he tattoo it? Did he tattoo it? He's not that big. Doubled up on topwater baits. This guy's not even fighting at all. He's not big at all. But boy, did he drill it. He's a keeper. He is a keeper. I don't want him to get in the net. <laughs> Dude, he got both hooks too. They're eating it. Yeah, they're eating it. This one got the front hook. So, I mean, it's a, I'm going to say he's 13 inch, not a trophy. Not catching trophies, but hey, that's all right. It's a top water trout. I will take it. 61 degree water, dirty water, catching trout on top water baits. That's why you got to go to know. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> He's not big either. Oh, I think he came off. I did a jewel with him. Man, oh man. It doesn't matter how big they are, they will stop your heart when they hit. That little bit of sprinkle stopped, at least for a couple of minutes. So I was able to take the big camera out again. Boy, we're having a ball. We're sitting here with the trolling motor on spot lock, just sitting in one spot. Nothing special about this spot. Except for the fact that we're getting bites almost every cast on topwater baits. The Joel has missed four in a row. He's got four blow-ups and four successive casts and has missed all of them. So it's just gonna happen sometimes. You just they just don't get the bait all the time, particularly in these rough conditions. It's just tough for them to zero in on that bait. It's darting back and forth so spastically in that wind. Now, these fish are anything but big. They're not trophies, but they're aggressive, that's for sure. Now the bad thing with this wind, it's blowing, it's blowing upper teens, maybe even 20 is that you really can't cast to the side of the boat. You get a big belly in your line and it just pulls your bait very, very hard to walk the dog in conditions like this. So you can't really fan cast. These fish are just roaming this flat. They're not keyed in on anything at all. They're not holding on any type of bottom structure or anything like that. They're just roaming around looking for something to eat. So when that's the case, you really want to fan cast. You want to fish all the way around the boat. But the way this wind is, we're pretty much just having to fish downwind. That's about it. 
All right, so I shed the heavy rain suit. Definitely feel a lot better. We're resuming our second, well actually we're beginning our second drift. But that underwater grass is just so important for this topwater bite. Once you get out of it, it's almost hopeless. It's kind of interesting too, because as we drifted out, we were still in mullet. We were still in a bunch of mullet, but there were just no trout in it. So I don't know if the trout use the grass to kind of hide, or if they know there's gonna be more mullet in the grass, and so they just kind of tend to, to move into it. And you know you got a better shot for the reds in this grass. All right, so your first drift is always your best drift, and definitely that was true for us. Our second drift, we got one blow up, that's it. No connections. Joel got a hit, I didn't even get a hit. Then we give it one more pass. If we don't get on him, we're gonna mosey on and go someplace else. Ooh, did he get it? You got him? He's a baby? I was gonna say. He looked like a baby when he hit it. All right, so fishing is a great spectator sport when you're at home. But when you're on a boat, it is definitely not. And I've turned into a spectator. I can't get a bite, Joel keeps getting blow ups. So that tells me my bait is all wrong. So I switched to this Egret Ghost Walker. I love black topwater baits under a cloudy sky. I feel like they really silhouette well and the fish can key in on them. Uh, this bait has a very different sound than a sheet dog. Kind of got more BBs in there. Sounds a little bit more like a Zara Spook. I'm hoping it delivers some strikes. We'll see, I'll fish it for a few minutes. Oh, 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 on this one. Oh, come on back. <laughs> well, I'm missing, but at least I got some strikes. It was not a big fish. Oh, Joel got him. <laughs> We call this bait green bone chrome. This thing's so ugly, but the fish seem to think it's absolutely beautiful. I tell you, it's not looking too good to the west. <laughs> not at all, we got some rain coming. All right, so we made a move to a different cove and the water in here is really, really nice. I haven't seen any bait yet, we just got in here, but we're gonna make a quick drift through here and see if we can get any blow ups. I'm still throwing this ghost walker Joel's still throwing his hideous green bone chrome she dog. Thing's got paint missing all over the place. It looks awful, but man, the trout are loving it. And I'll tell you this, he's been fishing this bait for like two years, and it's always like the hottest bait on the boat. I don't know what it is about the thing, but uh, but the fish love it. Let's see, let's see if we can get another bite. It's all about the next bite when it comes to topwater baits. Oh, he missed it. Oh, did he get it? Nope. Oh. He's gonna be kidding. They love that stupid bait. Dude. That was a good fish. I hate to tell you, that was a good fish. You think he was? Yeah, I, thought I do. He was small. No, I, the first few hits I thought oh. he was small. That last hit, he looked like a good fish. Was... Oh, he missed it. You got another hit. Alright, so Joel's getting way more hits than I'm getting. It's that stupid green bone chrome bait. I gotta find something that closely resembles it to some degree. That's just what they want today. Is the battery dying? Is it? It's a netter? Not a netter? That's a good fish. It's not a bad speckled trout. That might be the biggest of the day. <laughs> 16, 16 inches or so. All right, every now and then you push your luck and it pays off. Well, today I'd say it definitely paid off. We caught no giant speckled trout. We caught a giant redfish, that's for sure. But we caught a whole bunch of specks on topwater baits when really I didn't expect to. 61 degree water, water wasn't the prettiest, but man, lots of bait and lots of grass. It really worked out well. However, we've got some really bad weather coming. We just took a look at the radar and we've got some reds coming. We don't have long at all to get out of here before it hits us. So we're cutting this trip short, but uh, definitely a success. And we've got something to dream about before the next time we can get out here. And hopefully that happens very soon because this is on. It's not gonna last forever. I think these fish will probably be biting until the early part of April 
on topwater baits and these, these backwater marshes. After that, they're all going to be outside. And all you'll be able to catch is little bitty dinks inside. So definitely got a shelf life. But man, I can't wait to get back out here. Counting the days already. Hopefully it happens soon.